Hi, welcome to Craft Little Things. I'm Andrea. Um, I wasn't going to do any crafting today because it's such a lovely, hot, sunny day already. Um, and it's bank holiday weekend in the UK, if you're not in the UK. And I live, I live right near the sea and the beach. So I thought it'd be lovely to go out quite early and take the dogs out. Um, but the dogs were one step ahead of me because they woke me up at 5am to go outside and play. And so, because I'm up at 5am and nobody else on earth is, <laughs> well, you know, nobody I know is, um, I thought, why not get my challenges done? I'll do a couple of um, challenges, edit a quick video that I made yesterday and um, catch up on what I missed yesterday because yesterday was quite a hectic day. So I thought what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of challenges. The first one is for Positively Papercraft on Facebook. Let me just zoom in a little bit. This is why, because I'm in challenge mode, I've got all my scraps out, because I like to use my scraps um, rather than put them to waste. Um, and this one's a lovely one. So there's going to be um, some bits and bobs going on. This is a sketch challenge. This is designed by Julie Tillman from mojomonday.blogspot.com. And where we've kind of positive paper crafters borrowed it, been inspired by it, however you want to put it. So if you're not familiar with how you use a sketch, let me just let me just sort of turn it sideways so you can see it a bit better. So all it is is it's a template really for um, a card. So it's just a suggestion. Um, so there's obviously your outer line is your card, then your inner line is a layer a mat and then layers and um this has obviously got this rectangular layer smaller rectangular layer that's sort of set at a jaunty angle some sort of strip um with a a cut edge and some sort of embellishment or sentiment now you can interpret really literally which is what i tend to do so I tried to get my dimensions right and everything. I'd probably think that that implies that should be a darker colour than that. I don't know. Um, but you can interpret it more loosely. So, for instance, this could be a thin strip of ribbon. This doesn't have to be a circle. You might do an oval or you might do a flower here. You might make your sentiment on this piece instead. You might put your sentiment on here. You might add... A butterfly you might you know you can interpret it as loosely as you like so that's that one so I'm going to have a go at that one and I'm going to use up some scraps for that I've got some ideas already and then this one's really interesting this is the Joy of Sets Facebook group which again I love this group um, and I, I've mentioned it before but for anybody who's new who hasn't heard me talk about it before what I really love about this group is that it has albums set up that are in the, for a specific Stampin' Up stamp set. And there's new, uh, there's current and there's retired um, albums in there. And so you can go to the Facebook group, you can go to the pictures, click on the albums, and they'll, and you can flick through to see if the stamp set that you're having trouble getting inspiration with, or that you've just bought, or that you're thinking of buying, click through and you'll see loads of submissions by members of projects they've done mainly cards using that stamp set and it is just so inspiring and it's so it's so lovely to see the different ways stamp sets are used and the similar ways that they're used um some have really well populated you can see by that which are the really popular sets or you can get a bit of an idea for that um, and some are less populated and you'll see some of the retired sets that are in there obviously they're kind of old favourites that keep getting used um, so that's one thing I really love about the Joy sets and um, it, it does have a, a random act of kindness group and it has a swap group so it does have people's addresses on a file in there so for that reason it has to be a private group it's not nothing bizarre or strange goes on there nobody bullies anybody nobody does anything underhand nothing shady there's no 
dodgy dealing of current SU goods or anything like that goes on. You don't have to use Stampin' Up! stuff to be a member of the Joe sets. You can do use whatever you like. Um, it's just that those albums are focused on Stampin' Up! Um, and they have monthly challenges, random challenges. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's, it's, just, it's just a lovely group. And the only reason it is private is because there is a file there with everybody's address on. And you cannot be publishing things like that or making things like that open to the public. Um, so um, you do have to request to join. Um, and, and that's it. It's as simple as that. And then that's up to the admin whether they accept you or not. Um, so, um, yeah, the Joy of Sets Maze Challenge. Um, what it is, it's like a tic-tac-toe theme. I don't know if you can see. Let me just zoom you in a bit more. And I've never seen one of these before. So what you do is you have to choose a line. It can be horizontal, vertical or diagonal. And then your card has to have those three things, elements in it. So male theme, buttons and um, CAS. CAS means clean and simple, I think, or clear and simple. Um, green spots, CAS, buttons, spots, uh, buttons, ribbon, green, die cuts, button spots. Um, that would get a bit crazy, wouldn't it? Die cut buttons and spots, I don't know. I was thinking of going for this one, clean and simple, user punch and ribbon. My initial thought was to go green, buttons, ribbon, because I don't really make many green cards. And I thought, mm, that might be a bit of a challenge for me. In fact, I think I am going to go with this one, green, buttons and ribbon. Um, because, like I say, it, it would be a challenge for me. And because it already looks like my positively paper craft effort is going to have these sort of vibrant colours and white and stuff. So, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing. So stick around if you want to see me make both of those. I will make them both separately because they're for different challenges and the different projects. Um, but I am going to make them both now. Okay. Mm -hmm.